Hello again, this is tutorial number six and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a method to create a GUI application to calculate GC content and plot it on a given plot like a bar chart. So in order to do that we need to have downloaded matplotlib in our system to plot it and for the GUI application we need to use tkinter. So tkinter is a library that enables us to use its classes and methods to create widgets. So the widgets normally come with maximize, minimize and close buttons and then we create labels, entry widgets to enter DNA sequences then buttons so this is a button let's say a calculate button and also another entry widget to get the results so this button can show us plots like bar charts line charts and so on and show us the GC content as well here so let's go ahead and do that real quick. We write down import matplotlib as usual dot pyplot as plt. And then from matplotlib import style and style dot use is ggplot. So we use ggplot here. Now we import tkinter. From tkinter import everything. Now we set the root. The root is tk. Remember to write the t letter in capital. Now we need to have our labels. The label is label. in tkinter and we assign this to the root the text can say enter dna below when you create a widget you have to pack it in tkinter so if this is our main widget the first label goes here now we have to create the first widget which is the enter widget so we have dna underscore entry equals entry the entry is assigned to the root and we don't write anything in it since this is also a tkinter widget we have to pack it so we packed these two once you pack a entry you have to write your methods afterwards so the first method is defined as DFGC method. This is for calculation of the GC content. This is just writing a function. So the first thing that we need to do is a getter variable to get DNA data. So we write the name of the variable as DNA getter from the DNA entry. So we write down dot get everything. So we get everything. We can set certain tweaks to this as we go along. We can set it to upper and then we can change it to list. After that, we change it to string. So the first thing is to change the string, then return the list of the string of the previous variable. This is important because we want to deal with lists instead of pure strings. It's easier to work with. Now we count the nucleotides. DNA getter dot count adenine. So this counts adenine for us. It's a simple procedure. For thymine, we do the same thing. 
and the same goes for guanine and cytosine. And that's it. To perform counting the percentage of GC, what we do is to write down the equation as follows. We need to have a variable called GCPCT. We round it first and then we write down G count plus C count and then this is divided by A count plus T count plus these two. And this is all whether this is round multiplied by 100. When we round this, we need to put them in parentheses. And that's it, in between parentheses. OK, we need to have other variables, one of them to show the data to the user in string values, one of them to plot the data. So one of the plot variables is GC PCT. The resulted GC equals formatted GC content. So to format this one, we write down in a string quotation mark zero percentage. This is a placeholder dot format. Then what do we want to format? The content of GC percentage. At the end, we create another widget, which I'm sh showing you here. This widget contains the uh, percentage value. So what do we want to insert? We want to insert the calculation after the button has been created. So we want to have a button here and an entry here then an entry below the button. So this button gets information from this one, manipulates it from this method, then returns it to the button, afterward shows it here. So that's the case scenario. All right, so to create our widget, we need to insert the data to it first, then create the widget. So that's how it works here. Let's call entry. So later on we create or we make a um, variable called this one. We insert the data to this variable, which is actually the widget that we are going to create later on. What we are going to insert is resulted GC. This is in string format. After that, we can go for creating the X axis and Y axis. In the X axis, we show GC and AT, percentage values. We need to have another variable called datum. This is just simply to show that we have GC to plot variable assigned to the datum to perform calculations in the y axis easier. So this is equal to datum and 100 minus datum. This is in a list. Well, this is going to be GC for the datum. 80 is 100 minus the GC. That's basically what it means. Then we can start plotting it. So you can write down plt.bar. What we want to do is to write down x axis and y underscore axis, then label equals GC content or GC and AT content. We set the color to blue. You can set it to anything, any color. It doesn't matter. PLT.legend. 
can set the location to best. Also, what you can do is to set the title, plt.title. You can write any title depending on your work. Here we have GC content and you can have a subtitle as well. Then we write down plt.show. After creating all these, we can have a calc button to do the calculation for us. This is a button inside tkinter. So we assign it to the root and the text can say um, GC calculation, simply, and plot. We set the command to the method that we use to calculate with and plot. That's it. Since this is a button, and this is a widget, we have to pack it, simply. We can also have a result entry widget, say gc underscore result entry, like the one we had here. You can just copy paste it to avoid confusion or mistakes then pack this one as well. This is where we return the data to the user. Then we can do certain other tweaks, but this is fine. You can write down root.title. The title of our root is GC percentage GUI. And then root.geometry. This is good if you set it to the desired geometry. Then we write down root.main loop to loop around forever. We can now run it. So let's see if there is a mistake to deal with. This is the title and this is here. We have the um, label. This is the first entry widget. This is the second entry widget and a calculation. We can write down a DNA sequence to do the calculation. And we have a mistake here. GCT is not defined. So let's see. If, yeah, I forgot to put the letter N in between. Yeah, we want to kill this. All right. GCT. This is inside the calculation. GCNT. This count. I should have copy and pasted it, but didn't think that I'll miss that one. Then, yeah, again, I have this mistake here again. This is a this is a mistake. My bad. All right, so that's it. Well, accidentally, I wrote everything equal, like G and C are equal here. We have 50% GC, and this is a 50-50% GNC, so it was ANT content. So this button calculates both in the same time. Okay, so let's try this one now, 50%. How could this be? This is kind of strange. This time, 62% for the GC because I didn't do it randomly. And the rest for the 80, 38. Okay, if you notice, we should delete the contents manually, but it's easier if you have a method that deletes the content for us and we have a button that does the deletion for us. To do so, we go back to our script, we write down delete method. We have a remove variable and this says gc underscore um, result 
entry this one we want to delete the contents here dot delete so this can go for the first three crack characters and that's it now dlt button let's say button equals button root and the text may say delete you can have a command the command we wrote the command above now the button is created but we have to pack it like the other buttons and widgets let's run it now we have the delete button we can have this this is the calculation now the calculation has been done and the plot has been created so we can delete this and delete this one later or add to it so just a quick review what we've done so far is to create a main widget containing a label and we have an entry that can contain data this datum is manipulated by a button that has been assigned to a function a method then this returns the manipulated data to another widget which is another entry widget for the percentage values and it also shows a plot for us so the first one is the GC and the second one is 80 and after that we had a delete button right so that's what we've created so far and having said that we finished our sets of tutorials to create a GI application that can calculate and plot GC content and thanks for being with me